Hollywood's darkest secrets are unraveling, and Diddy's at the center of it all. What the feds found might just break the internet. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now I let Usher explain that to y'all. I let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you, you gonna give him a pass. Bro, you know I know. Let me, re let, let me reframe you on something. Remember Usher? We was at the Swiss Hotel. Puff was had Kim in the room. Had one of Keith Sweat's baby mothers in the in in the uh the big room outside the master bedroom. He came outside in his robe. He came outside in his robe. She gave him a fellatio right there. His back was turned to me. She gave him a fellatio. You knocked on the door. I came and opened the door for you. Puff went in the room. You came in the room and kissed that girl dead in the mouth. Now I'm telling that because you take enough for somebody that you know and a lot of more people know didn't do you right when you was at Diddy Camp. Rumors are swirling. These tapes aren't just any home videos. They were reportedly filmed in a so-called dungeon and Y'all put it together. And what you mean by Diddy Camp? Remember? He was on um one of the talk shows, the white guy with the curly hair. What's his name? Um the white guy with the curly hair. And he said, yo, would you send your son to Diddy Camp? And I just said, no, no. Ask him why he won't send him to Diddy Camp. But yet and still you praise him. Damn, man, and you said that, I know you can't go into detail, but you said that uh, it was a situation where Diddy sent him to the hospital? Let Usher explain that to you. Let Usher mama explain that to you. And the hospital was in Scarsdale, New York. Yes, leaked, and Diddy isn't alone in this scandal. Usher's name has now been dragged into the mix, but what's actually on these tapes that's got Hollywood shaking? You're gonna go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at it was it was pretty wild was, so nobody tried to you know some woman didn't come along I didn't and say that okay I, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place uh-huh and I didn't necessarily understand it uh -huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there Biggie Smalls was there Lil Kim Craig Mack all know, these people all are hanging these, around all, yeah man Faith Evans Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blosh, they ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time, you know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, and, what, <laughs> and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Sources say the content is disturbing. Fans are asking, why would Diddy and Usher even film this? Did they really think no one would ever find out? About how they used to wrestle for the Frosted Flakes in the morning and... Yeah, I bet they did. You know... <laughs> somebody frosted you know, some... Somebody frosted somebody flakes. <laughs> Without the milk. <laughs> what do you think it is that keeps Usher from coming out or saying anything. Because, yo, dog, he, it, it's, it's, you got to realize in that industry, a lot of people are stand back and say, well, it happened to me. That's how some of them people pay their dues. And the people 
who don't go down like that don't be as great as the ushers, as the Diddy's. Here's the twist. Diddy's former bodyguard Jindal claims there's more. More tapes, more stars, and more secrets. If the feds dig deeper, this scandal could take down some of Hollywood's biggest names. You know, the Twitter trolls will be, where, where are her kids? Well, I'm protecting them. And, yeah. and, and this is sad. I mean, this is sad. And this one with Bieber. Is this the Bieber thing. one? Yeah. Where like, are the parents? Yeah, and what, yeah, well, which parent would say, you know what? We don't know you. We know that you're a celebrity. Go and hang out with this guy for weeks on end by yourself. And at what mm -hmm. time, at what era is this cool? In the most critical years, by the yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. How is this, Alina? They I both this turn. How is this normal? So they both good. turn into superstars. Yeah. That's the sacrifice yeah. you make. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the sacrifice. But one of them had to go to church and he freaking lost his mind. Elite parties, secret recordings, and hidden tapes, all within Diddy's own home. Could this be the start of Hollywood's biggest downfall? Can you play this one? How's this? He's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. What the? Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I I had legal guardianship of Usher when when you know he he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So. Um, <laughs> But there's still one question. How much more is hidden? Can Diddy or anyone else involved escape without their reputations in ruins? What he's going through right now in the world of the press, the homeland security and being in this house of Miami and LA and all of this stuff. I don't want to believe none of it. An innocent until proven guilty, damn it. But the bottom line is we've seen folks in the industry uh, be gotten after b before. I don't know if we've ever seen it on this level. Your thoughts? Prayer. Oh, pray for. Mm. Uh, the way the world is set up where everybody can chime in on your life yeah. is kind of unfair. Totally. When you're going through, you know, a situation like he's going through. But um, nobody, nobody knows. There's always three. His side of the story, the people's, and the actual truth. Mm. Well, you got to wait to see what comes out. This... This is a quick, go ahead, I'm sorry. I think me. he, you know, I think he's getting a lot of negative, you know, people kicking him while he's going through it. I don't, I don't think that's that cool, but no, it ain't. I think you got to mind your business and just see what happens and try to pray for him. Not over something like this. I'll be damned if anybody going to sit up there and say, I'm saying he's guilty. I don't want to believe he's guilty of such a thing. As far as I'm concerned, you're innocent until proven guilty. I don't know anything. But I do feel it's fair to ask this next question. How is... And was he viewed in the hip hop industry as a person, as a producer, a guy? Talk about what when folks bring up Sean P. Diddy Combs, what were the thoughts that came to everybody's mind in that genre? A great mogul, you know what I mean? He did, he started from the bottom as an intern and turned and made a, a, a billion dollar label. Or turned himself to a billionaire, or close to a billionaire, or, you know what I mean? And he was beloved. Mm -hmm. Some of the best parties, yes, without you know, mm -hmm. that I ever been to in I my went, life. I went to a couple. You know I, I can mean? confirm that. Yes. And um, that's it. People loved him. He loved to have fun. He loved to make music, make hits. He helped change my life. How? You know what I mean? He gave my first record. Yeah. Whether it was a good deal or a bad deal, it was still <laughs> it gave me an opportunity to, to do to be here with you today. So you know what I mean. We gotta just see, like you said, innocent until proven guilty, and nobody knows what's going on except them and, and whoever's involved. So I ain't got no problem saying this about Diddy. I love his business acumen. I love to go get it mentality. Definitely one of the I most impeccable him. businessmen of all time. I love how he pushed and encouraged all of us to go for it in the world of business. That's my interpretation based on a few conversations that I've had with him in my life. He's trying to own an NBA team. For years ago, he's trying, he trying to be a part of a group to buy the Charlotte Hornets. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to be a part of that. That's how I spoke to him. What about you? 
What about you in terms of what he had to push? That That's what I Stay tuned because Fame Radar will keep you updated on every shocking twist in this explosive story. You won't want to miss what's coming next.